Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 500. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Now suppose you have these numbers. Let's write them down. We've got 367, 327, 438, 271 and the last one is 354. So those are the five numbers that are given in the question. And the question states that you have to order them starting with the smallest number and going to the largest number. Let's draw the boxes that you would typically find in your workbook or in uh, various tests that you will do. the fourth one and the last one we've got over here. So those are the five boxes. We've got the smallest at the top and the largest at the bottom. So let's have a look at our numbers. Now where do we start? Well as we've done in previous tutorials we're going to start with the digit on the left. That is the hundreds. We've got three digits and this is the hundreds. So what we're going to do is how many hundreds are there in 367? There are three hundreds. Now let's do the next one. In 327 there are also three hundreds. In 438 there are four hundreds. In 271 there are two hundreds. And lastly 354 has got three hundreds. Now what do you notice about the numbers, the blue numbers? Well three of them are the same. That's this one, this one and this one. However we also have, and we're just going to change colors for this, we also have the four and 2. These two numbers are different. Now if we look at all these hundreds, which is the smallest number? We've got 2, 3 and 4. Well that's quite easy. 2 is the smallest. So we can write this number down first. 271. That is the smallest number. And we've worked that out without looking at the tens or the units. It's got 200, 271, has got two hundreds, and it is the smallest number, irrespective of what the tens and the units are. So that's two done. Now which number comes next? Well, the next one is the three. We've got three, three, and three. And lastly, we've got is four. Now what can we say about four? Well, four is the largest out of these three numbers. Therefore, we can add this in right at the bottom. This is the largest number. 438. So we've got the smallest number and we've got the largest number. What is left are those numbers that began with 3. Now because we couldn't work this out with the hundreds, and let's put this up here, we're now going to move to the next digit which was the tens. So how many tens, how many tens are there in 367? Well, there are six tens. How many tens are there in 327? Well, there are two tens. How many tens are there in 354? There are five. So we've got the tens, six, two, and five. Now, what do you notice about these numbers? They're all different. That means we should be able to work out which numbers go into the boxes from the smallest to the largest. We don't even have to look at the units. So let's work through this. Out of these three numbers, we've got 6, 2 and 5. Which is the smallest? It's a nice easy one. The smallest one is 2. So we can write this number in next. That is 327. 
Three hundred and twenty-seven. Don't forget the first the first box is already filled in with two hundred and seventy-one. So we've now got three hundred and twenty-seven. So now we're left with two numbers: the six up here and the five over here. Now, which is the smallest number out of these two? Well, this again is a nice easy one. It is five. So we can put this in as the next number: three hundred and fifty-four. That just leaves one number, and that's this one: three hundred and sixty-seven. That goes in the remaining box. And there we have it. We have ordered the five numbers from the smallest to the largest. And we've done that by looking at the digit on the left. In this case, it was hundreds. And then we look at the digit next to it, the tens. And we didn't even have to look at the units. It's a nice trick, this one. Practice it so that you fully understand it.